Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Ellis. We want to discuss a little mathematics today. A guy came into my Facebook page about a video of a personal trainer having a conversation with Dr. Mercola, the biggest name on the internet in health and wellness. And they were discussing exercise. And that led into a discussion of adding muscle to one's body. And the personal trainer indicated that if you add 10 pounds of muscle, which with each pound burning 50 to 75 calories a day, that you could increase your calorie burn by 500 to 750 calories a day by just adding 10 pounds. Now let's just take a look for a second at the absurdity of this statement and the lack of knowledge and the lack of understanding held by both men, Dr. Mercola and the personal trainer. We know that muscle at rest, at rest, burns five calories per pound per 24 hours. Muscle at rest. Fat burns two calories per pound during the course of 24 hours. Now, Let's see how ridiculous these accusations are. Let's assume that your body is 40% made up of muscle tissue. And let's assume we have a 200 pound person. 40% is 80 pounds of muscle tissue. That's it, total. Now, if this muscle tissue is going to burn, let's assume the 50 calories per pound. That means you're going to be burning 4,000 calories a day. Just the muscle, just the muscle, 4,000 calories a day will be burned just by having this muscle on your body. Now, this leaves no room for the metabolically active organs such as the liver, the brain, and the lungs. They're burning a lot of calories because they're working all the time. The muscle is just, for the most part, sitting there doing almost nothing. So it's obviously not going to burn 50 calories per pound, but let's just go through that. So assume 4,000 calories. We know that if we're a 200-pound person, we can assume the resting metabolic rate is probably about 2,500 calories. So the muscle is burning 1,500 calories more than the resting metabolic rate. And we can measure the resting metabolic rate to know exactly what is happening. So there would be no... 50 calories per pound being burned by the muscle tissue. It's impossible. And if we throw in all the metabolically active organs and systems, this individual would probably have a metabolic rate of 12 to 14,000 calories a day. Well, no one has that. So right off the bat, we know this whole thing is just wrong. Now next, this is my favorite part. Make the assumption that you're going to add 10 pounds of muscle. Now that assumption is really rough too because it's very, very difficult to add 10 pounds of muscle tissue. I've been exercising since I've been eight and I'd say over my whole lifetime I was able to add 30 pounds of more muscle than I would have had had I not trained. That's a whole lifetime. Now, so it's hard to add 10 pounds of muscle, but let's look at what's going on with that muscle. So what the personal trainer says, and I've heard this many times, they say, you add this muscle, this new muscle will burn 50 calories per pound. Now can anyone possibly tell me how the body can determine what is new muscle and what is old muscle? So what's the old muscle going to burn compared to the new muscle? Is it going to be the same 50 calories per pound? Well, now we're back to the absurd position of muscle burning 50 calories per pound, burning 4,000 calories a day. It's just The whole thing is just absolutely ridiculous. And these guys actually believe this stuff. I don't think they've ever taken a second to think about it. And then they spew this information out to the public at large, who becomes completely confused, and put it on the supermarket checkout lines, and talk about turning the body into a fat burning machine by adding this muscle through weight training. That of course is one of the arguments for the value of weight training is you can add this muscle that is now going to burn a whole bunch of calories. 
independent of any logical thinking whatsoever. So don't get caught up on this stuff. You now have the facts. You know what the numbers are. I've made the clear case for what is actually going on. Muscle rest is not a high calorie burner because it's not doing anything. And you can see it's not burning that many more calories than the actual fat tissue. So keep all of that in mind as you do your exercise program and you won't get tricked or confused by these guys who have no clue. Okay, I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.